Hi, how are you doing? Today I'm gonna show you how to make this cute one balloon hippo. It's uh, two balloons if you put the eyes on, but really I can twist it all out of one and I'm gonna show you how to do that, but I do like to add the eyes. So what we're going to use for this is one gray 260 or whatever color you want your hippo. I made it here in gray and I also made it in Caribbean blue, just to show you. So you want to take a gray 260. Now before you inflate this, we need a little bit of extra room in the hippo body. So you want to give it a nice tug, two or three nice pulls and stretch your balloon out really far before you inflate it. And then we want it nice and mushy. And you want to have a five finger tail, which is probably about four inches. So just so you can grab at the end. Let's see how mushy it is. And that's what you want. This is perfect for our hippo. And what we're gonna do to start is we're gonna make two cherry tomato size bubbles. So here's the first one, and it's just about one and a half fingers large. And then we make another cherry tomato size bubble, and the second one is gonna get pinch twisted. So I'm just gonna hold this down, pull this up, and pinch twist the second bubble. Next, what we're gonna do, we're gonna make the hippo's mouth, which goes around here. And for that, you just wanna wrap a loop right around three fingers, just like that. And now what I'm gonna do is just take one, the one that I did it pinch twist and flip it through so it doesn't come undone. So you have this. And the next thing we're gonna do is make a five finger twist, a five finger bubble and then twist it, but my balloon's getting kind of full of air. It's getting more pressure because of these twists that I put in. So you don't want it to be real tight here. You're just gonna take two hands and apply even pressure and squeeze it a little and then the air will fill out down that way. So the next thing we're gonna do is measure right up, just hold the balloon right against this loop and measure five fingers, go right above your thumb and we're gonna make a twist. And after you make that twist, try to hold on to it. We're gonna make a teddy bear head. And the side of the teddy bear head will be three fingers long. So we're making right here, just like a teddy bear head. So this is a three finger bubble, which is probably about two, two and a half inches. And then make another cherry tomato size bubble. I'm kind of holding everything together here so it doesn't come undone. Right like that, there's one ear and then a three inch bubble and see how it's getting tight? Give it a little squeeze with two hands and that will fill the air down towards the tail. They're, they're both the same size. Three fingers, a pinch twist for the ear, three more fingers, a cherry, another cherry tomato size bubble pinch twisted for the ear. So see where the teddy bear head's coming to play in? So twist this together right like that. And we have this. Now what you wanna do is take this and just tuck it in, just like that. So it could look sort of like a dog or something. But we'll, and then what you want to do, this knot is gonna get tucked through here and, and wrapped around the back of the neck. So you wanna kinda turn that bubble and aim it right towards the center of the teddy bear head. So when this knot's aimed towards the center of the teddy bear head, and you tuck this through a little bit, not the whole way, but just a little, like that, and then take the whole entire pinch twist, and you're gonna tuck it right through the center of the teddy bear head. Tuck it the whole way through until it comes out the back of the center of the head right like that. And now to memorize these, to make them 
And I don't have a good memory. <laughs> I'm pretty good at memorizing the balloon animals because I'll make them three, four, or five times in a row just so I remember it. And then a couple days or the next day, you know, pick up a balloon and make it. See if you can remember it. And that's how I remember balloon animals. Take this little knot and just turn the head around. Right like that. And see how his ears are? I want to just turn them this way. And so this is going to be my hippo's nose. I don't want this way down here like that because then it looks more like a koala bear. But what I do want to do is bring this up so the top of his head's kind of flat. And I'll show you this one again. And here's my blue one. So this is a little flat and then he has this chin under here. And then we're just going to make a tiny little body and we're going to measure three fingers for the front leg. And if it's getting tight, give it a little squeeze. Just like that and bring it up just like a pair of dog legs. And we're going to just wrap it right into the neck and turn it right like that. And then we're going to give him a little body. I'm going to give him a four finger body. And then a three finger tail. This goes right to the end of the balloon, so it gets pretty tight, but it's okay. If you practice a little bit and you get the right amount of air in there, it'll work for you. So four finger body, three finger tail, um, <laughs> back leg, and another three finger one. And I'm just going to turn this right in like this. And there are my legs. So let me show you what you can do. If you want to even all the air out, say this is really tight and you you don't have like enough room to, you know, sculpt this. What you can do is you can go right to the center of where you think the back legs will go and twist this part first. Then bring the balloon up and twist it together like that. And then that'll kind of disperse the air so your balloon's less likely to pop. Next, what we want to do is take a white 260 and we're going to add the eyes. And you can put like larger eyes or smaller eyes. I have smaller ones on this, larger ones on this. It doesn't matter. Whatever you prefer and whatever you think looks cute. You can just draw the eyes on right up here, but I'm going to add eyes with a white 260. And I like this because it makes him kind of puppet-like and I think that's cute. So what we're going to do is inflate a bubble to two fingers or three fingers. I'll make this one out of three fingers because that's what I put in there. <laughs> and inflate that. It's a little bit mushy. We'll set, uh, twist it right in the center. And then bring this up. Pull it together. Turn it. And then tuck the knot right through. I will pre-twist eyes when I go to parties. And I'll take a little bag of eyes, wrap this around, to make sure I'm telling you guys how I'm doing this, and then tie it two times so it doesn't come undone. Knot it right in the center, like this. Um, but I will, I'll do that and then I'll, um, I'm going to cut that off because I want it longer. I'll, I'll put them in a bag and put them in the freezer when I have time, if you're watching one of your favorite tele television shows, just pre-twist some eyes and then put them in a bag and throw them in your freezer. And when you're ready to do your party that weekend or if you forget about them, you can even pull them out five months later and they'll be fine. Um, then take them out and you'll have them to put on your animals. But what I'm going to do is cut down about maybe two inches. I don't want to make it real close to there because I need a little bit of room to attach my eyes. And if you have a little extra slack right here, it makes it a lot easier. Take your eyes, eye balloons and tuck it right into the corner up here where there's, there's a little tiny opening. I'm going to grab it from behind, kind of pull it, and then wrap it around the pinch twist in the back of the head. And if it's too tight, the pinch twist and this is long enough you can just take it around the neck and wrap it you don't even have to tie it it'll stay in there just fine and then you can adjust your eyes at the top 
Now this is nice if somebody asks you for a hippo and you don't know what to make them because you don't know a hippo design, but <laughs> you do now. So here's my hippo and you can kind of square this out a little, like pull it out to the sides and tuck it and push it in the center. You know how you, you shape a heart? Shape it a little bit to make his nose out like a hippo nose. So you have this. And then what we'll do is we'll draw his eyes in. And I'm just going to fill two circles. Rest your hands on the balloon. Two circles. And fill them in. And I'll put eyebrows right up there because that'll look kind of cute. And then give him little nostrils. I just make little commas facing the opposite direction. One. Or maybe they're more like apostrophes, I guess, or upside down commas. And then his mouth, I'm just going to kind of start up here. And I'm going to swerve it up towards the center of his nose. And then back down and over. And I'll outline that again. Because hippos have kind of like a mouth that's shaped like this. Like their bottom lip goes up, if you look. And a picture of a hippo and I'll make his mouth look like it's open a little bit so I'll put a little bit of black under that and then I'll just kind of give him cheeks right there and there is my 260 hippo just to show you okay thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time